Anton must prick his finger once a week. This blood test is life-saving for him. Four, and then again two years ago, I had a lung embolic. And if you twice have a lung embolic, you must take anticoagulative medicine for the rest of your life. Ton is one out of tens of millions of Europeans who have to be very careful about anything that makes them bleed because their blood doesn't clot. When I cut my finger, I can use a patch. When I'm bleeding inside, my stomach or heart, then I need to go immediately to hospital. These drugs prevent blood clots, but as a side effect, they can also cause severe bleeding. Doctors need to be cautious about dosage, and for every patient, it needs to be adjusted individually. Differences that can also be seen in the genes. To find the right dosage is really a bit like trial and error. There are big differences between the patients. Some people only need a few tablets, while others need many more for the right dosage. In the European research project EU Pact, a clinical trial in seven European countries should determine whether the knowledge of the genotype of patients will increase the safety of the therapy. The scientists had high expectations about the trial. We expect that it is useful to determine the genotype because if somebody has a certain variant, we know that they will need less drugs. In those cases, we can minimize the dosage right from the beginning and thus reduce the risk of bleeding events. Initial results were promising, but the latest study has shown the advantages of a gene test are limited to the beginning of the treatment, the first four weeks. After all, we can say that in the first month we can give the patients a safer dosage if we know their genotype. For Dr. Felix van der Meer, who conducted this study with 200 patients, these results are not strong enough to recommend general genotyping. At this moment, I think it only has a few advantages, so I cannot really recommend it. But in the future, if everybody knows their personal DNA profile, it will be an advantage. And there are certainly no drawbacks associated with it. For Ton, the genotyping is not necessary. He found the dosage he's comfortable with. To other patients, though, a genetic test could offer the chance of less risky therapy right from the beginning.